Hi, this is Tamika with Patience Pumps and Pie, and in this video, I am going to be creating the cards for my October paper pumpkin subscription box. So I did an unboxing of this, and I'll be sure to um, link that. And these are the two types of cards that it makes, and so I'm going to attempt to make one of each. Um, based on the directions here. All right, so I'm going to take a moment, pull out everything that I need, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've situated what I need for each card. Here's um, all the stuff to make this one. And then here's everything that I need to make this one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to begin by doing some stamping. So I'm going to stamp this die cut here. And on this die cut, it's going to say Merry Christmas. So I will be using the Merry Christmas stamp. So here is the stamp block. Here's some glue dots. Here's some um, dimensional foam pieces. And here's the stamps and the ink. This is the color Just Jade. They do have these in bigger stamps, um, stamp pads, which I have been contemplating for a while getting those. I have them literally in the cart, but I thought, let me see how I like it first. And then I can decide if that's what I really want to do. So we're going to just take this stamp and adhere it to the stamp block. Okay. And then let's think about the positioning. And then we're going to ink this up. So even though they have the bigger stamp pads, I think one advantage to the smaller pad is that you can really really get into smaller stamps with it. So we're going to ink that baby up real good. Alrighty. And then we're going to try and get this as centered and straight as we can. Okay, I can see now that I need more ink. I can tell that already <laughs> before I even did anything with it. I could tell. Okay, let's try it. All right. So I want to center that as best as possible. All right, see, I could tell, I guess because this ink pad is new, you could tell that the ink was not, um, it's like it was moving around on the stamp. And maybe I should have primed the stamp. I didn't think to do that. But then again, it kind of gives it like a little rustic vintage look that it's a little off there. So I'm not, I'm not upset about it. So here is the card base. Okay. So now we are going to take the card base and we're going to add some twine, okay? Um, sorry, not to the card base, um, to this little embossed piece here. So I don't know if you can see that well. The sun is shining through, affecting my lighting, but it's embossed there. So I'm going to add the twine to this piece and it says to do eight inches of twine so this is what they include which I think is very impressive they include like a little ruler down here <laughs> so that's impressive you have the little ruler I'm just going to cut off the very end of this twine okay and then I'm going to start measuring that out so if we want to do 18 this is measuring 9 so then we have to do another nine and then we can cut. All 
All right, and basically they've just kind of, you know, did like a loop-de-loop -loop kind of thing with this twine here. And they've added that. Put that out of the way to this piece. So it's just adding it on there, okay? And we will do this with some glue dots. So I've never worked with these glue dots, so this is going to be new. So you pull out the little adhesive. And I'm going to grab my little craft knife. Well, that adhesive piece is really sticky. Okay, so here is the glue dot that stuck to my finger. So I didn't even really need the craft knife. And I'm just kind of rolling it into a ball. Okay, and I'm attaching it. And then I'm gonna attach it in one spot there. Okay. And then I am going to gather it again in another spot. Let's see, but we want to gather it right about over here. So I'm going to make sure that is adhered. All right, so we're going to take another one of the glue dots. And then I, it sticks to my finger, so then I can just kind of roll it from there off of my finger. And the reason you're rolling it is so that you can kind of get it to a size that you want it. And then I'm going to stick it on here and then kind of stick my twine to be kind of loose and kind of stick my twine onto that. Okay. And it's okay if it's not completely down because you're going to be adding stuff on top of here. All right, so now that we have the twine down, okay, now that we have that down, we are going to go ahead and add um, all the rest of the pieces. So we're going to add on our die cuts, um, which we have these beautiful florals here. So we're going to be adding these. We're going to be adding this little foiled label piece. And then our stamped Merry Christmas is going to also go on that. So let me remind you of how it's going to look. Okay, so there we have it. All right. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to use these dimensionals to adhere them. So we want to have you know, a little bit sticking out here, and maybe in another little bit sticking out here, All right? So we kind of want it like this, okay? So let me add some dimensionals. I think adding about two, I believe, should be enough. because of the way it's going to sit on there. But for good measure, I'll put a third one. Just to be safe right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna do the same with this piece. I mean, these are little cute, some cute little cards, and these these florals are so pretty. All right, so let me move this around so I can get this the way I want it, and then I'm just gonna add this like that, okay? And then we're going to add on our other pieces, so. The foil piece is going to go on there, and we're going to adhere the foil piece with um, 
some adhesive, so some of the glue dots we're gonna add to the back of the foil piece. And I need to look at how it's gonna sit on here, so that gives me an idea of where I want to put these. Okay. So I want one dot right there. I want another dot right about there, okay. I think it's so funny that these stick to my finger. So I want another one about there. I'll roll that over. And then I think I'm gonna add another one. Right in here. Okay, let me look at that. I think I need another one a little higher than this one. Okay, so let's try and put this down. I want it to be centered. Okay. So that's down, and then this Merry Christmas is going to go atop of there, okay? And so we're going to put the Merry Christmas on, and we're going to use um, some of the foam pieces to adhere this one, okay? So let's put those down, okay? This is some pretty strong adhesive, I tell you. But that is a good thing, okay? Because you, like if you're mailing these cards out to someone, you want the card to last. Um, all right. So let's see. We want to center again. All right, so there's all of that done. That is really pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it, okay? And then from there, we just adhere all of this to the card base. So I'm gonna use some adhesive to do that. Now I'm wishing I had put the adhesive on and adhered this part prior to doing everything else that I just did because I feel like I'm smushing everything now. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this back. I need my bone folder, hold on, because I want to crease this a little bit more. So let me get my bone folder my card some more all right and so we're gonna bring this around and we want to try to center this as well and there we have it oh my gosh guys we have our first card I'm so excited about this how stinking cute is that I love it I love it I love it I love it so there's our first card all right so let's try the next one so I'm gonna move all of these pieces off to the side I'm gonna remove this stamp from the stamp block and put it back so yeah we've got a lot of little pieces going on here but we'll get all of that cleaned up all right, so for the next one, we need the To The World stamp, because we're doing Joy To The World. All right, set that aside. And 
I think I have a smaller stamp block that might work better. I know I have one, but for the life of me, can't find it right away right now. So we're just going to pass on that. All right, so we're going to put this on our stamp block. Now, let's look at our pieces here. We have the joy, which is in foil. We have the wreath. We have this other little label, okay? And then more of the embossed piece and then our card base. So we're gonna put all of this to the side for now so that we can do our stamping. So we're first gonna stamp to the world on here. So go ahead and get the ink again. stamp that and we want to try and center that also okay there we go then we're going to do the wreath so let's put that back going to pull the wreath from the other stamps okay and then we're gonna put that on the stamp pad I'm actually gonna prime this one because in priming it you just kind of rub it against the back of your hand and I'm gonna see if that makes a difference in how that ink flows this time around so as you can see if you look at the wreath really well there's like a little point right there and I'm going to try to line everything up with that okay so it's gonna be a little challenging but I think it's supposed to be like that okay so let's ink this up This one is going to help the ink work a little bit better than what I'm noticing. All right, so we're going to line this up, that little notch, and we're going to stamp. All right. Okay. We're a little bit off for our first time, but that is okay. And that's why I kept this center part of the punch in there. So, because the point is you want to not cover up the berries. So they did get covered up just a little bit in a few places, but not bad for a first try. Not bad at all. So we've done all the stamping we have to do for this one. Now we can start adhering everything together, okay? so. We have our embossed piece, okay? And we're going to take some more twine, another 18 inches. So let's do that. So there's nine there. Nine there, so eighteen inches. All right, and if you see the second card, it's wrapped around the embossed piece, and then there's a bow tied on the side. Okay, so and I still have glue or something on my finger and green from the stamp. <laughs> All righty, so. 
I don't think it's going to wrap around more than once if I have to tie a bow. I don't think it's going to, I mean, let's see, but I just looking at it, it doesn't look like it's going to, then again, hey, maybe. All right, so let me try it. Let me do it like this. I want to make sure I have enough to tie it off to the side. There we go. That's what I was wanting. So I'm going to tie and make a bow, which is going to be really difficult because it's so short now. Okay. So let me put my finger there to kind of help guide that. I'm gonna bring this through, okay. And all right, there's the bow, very good. So I'm gonna just take um, and add some adhesive dots to make sure that this is secure and it won't move around, okay. So I'm just gonna use my finger here I'm gonna roll that piece of glue around and I'm gonna put it right underneath there. Okay, and I think I'll do one more and I'm gonna glue it on the back side so that it is completely hidden. Okay, let's roll the glue. Let's put some more over here. And then we're going to adhere that. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to add our die cut with some of those foam dimensional pieces. So that's going to sit on here. So let's grab some of those. I want to make sure we put enough all around. All right, I'm going to pull the adhesive backing off. All right, and you know what I think I want to do, boys and girls? I think I want to put this on my base first because it was a little um yeah it was a little awkward trying to put it on with everything already on there and add adhesive to the back that's only because the instructions said to use the adhesive dots but i'd rather use my tape adhesive here so i'm going to go ahead and adhere this whoops to the front so this card is going to be like this okay so let's add this. All right, because I just want it to be very secure. So that is what I'm choosing to use my adhesive tape runner here. So that's down. So now I can go ahead and add the wreath. Okay. And the wreath is down. And then I am going to put the word joy. So this is going to go down with the glue dots. Okay with the glue dots. Now the thing is, I have that little piece that goes on top of the the J, okay? So I have to remember that little piece. Matter of fact, what did I do with it? Okay, here it is. It's they're all tiny right here. So we're going to use the glue dots on the back of this. So 
let's see. Put joy. Okay. And then we're going to put the dot for the J. Oops. I don't want to lose this little piece because it is tiny. So I'm just rolling that glue dot in between my fingers so that I can get it to be small enough to adhere to the back of this dot. And we will put the dot down. And there we go. And the last thing we're going to do is put the to, uh, joy to the world part. So we're going to add some dimensionals on the back of this. And let's take off that backing. All right. So joy. Oh, it's so sticky. To the world. All right, there's our second card. So let's compare and see how I did. How did I do? Let me know. There's the first card. That's how it should look. This is what I came out with. Okay, here's what the second card should look like. And this is what I came out with. I think I did fairly well. I am proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. So that is the two cards that you are to create with this kit. I've seen several videos and people just take and run with all of this and they make several different other types of cards. Um, I was watching a video where a lady talked about how this looked like a floral that could be used for any occasion. I can make other stamps because I have these other, um, I mean other cards because I have these other stamps on here as well. So I think it came out well. Um, as far as the wreath, I do think it stamped better after me priming, but I, it feels like this is just wet and it's, maybe I'll try less ink the next time. Um, maybe that will work. But yeah, this is what I came up with and I'm excited. I can't wait to, um try making something else with all of this subscription um i already have some ideas um especially with the florals i just want to do some really nice things with those and so you can always add some sentiments on the inside of these so you have this sentiment here wishing you a very uh, hap a very happy christmas filled with fun and laughter so you can always stamp that inside and then since this one just says joy to the world you can also put in there um, to you and yours, or you could put in this Merry Christmas message inside of here. So there's a lot of options that um, you have because of the different stamps that are provided. All right, so that is all for this video. This was my first time using a uh, paper pumpkin kit and actually creating what is meant to be created there. And I learned some things, how to do things better. There's some thoughts going into my head, but I think I did a fairly great job to start with and I'm just looking forward to creating more. So tell me what you think in the comments below. You know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.